Hey, so a friend of mine asked me, how do I get the third party contact instruments to show up in the library tab browser part of contact? So I decided to make this video to show you and everybody else. Okay, so let me explain exactly what I mean by this. Let's have a look. So on my computer here, we have contact. This is contact five, doesn't matter. Contact six, contact five, doesn't matter at this point. You can see that here are all the, this is the library selection in contact. We go down here and we get to, yes, Stingray Instruments. Um, we can access them here. We have zero G and I think if we go down to the bottom somewhere, we get to like, yes, we have Pulse Setter, uh, Short Noise, 8DO stuff in there, uh, Sample Hero, I've got other stuff, Evolution, Dragon. So yeah, these are libraries that would never normally show up in this section of contact normally you have to click on files and for me all my libraries are in an inch on a hard drive called instruments and there's a third party section of that and there's a whole ton of stuff in there that i haven't even added to that library tab but that is i mean getting them in here with all these other libraries is it just doesn't exist you cannot do it within contact but i clearly can so let me show you how to actually do that and the first thing we're going to need to do is build a tab so we can just close contact now i'm not using it to do this we're going to need to create a tab and it has an nicnt file to correspond with it that's my dog um and i think the best way to create this thing is to use a little application called abyss contacted 4.2 unfortunately this application is not free but it's really not very much. I think I paid about 20 pounds for it. So let's just open, I'll open up the browser here. Let me see if I can find it quickly. Yes, yeah, so here it is, the Abyss website and contacted, it's, it's it's twenty. It's twenty dollars. Really, not that much. Um, and you're if this is something you want to do, then just go and get that because you'll keep it forever, and it's the going to give you exactly what you want. And in this thing, you can create your own tabs, and it just makes life a lot easier than having to hack unless you've got like a degree in scripting or something, and you can actually build these files. But anyway, today I'm going to be adding a new library. So recently I came into possession of some libraries from Sonora Cinematic. And we have the Magnesium uh, Instruments and the Modular Explorations Instrument as well. Um, so I'm going to add these into contact today. So the first thing you need to do is put all of these uh, the libraries that you want underneath that one tab into a single folder wherever they are on your computer. I tend to keep everything in the same place. So there they are, Sonora Cinematic in my third party instruments folder. Um, so now we need to create a tab and I've actually made one already in um, Infinite, Affinity Designer, which is much like Photoshop. I'm not going to drag that into here and you can see that it's now sitting in this. Just as simple as drag it in. Um, I'm going to name this library as Sonora Cinematic. And that's basically all I want to do with that. Once you've designed it, you can actually put in all the text and change the design of this within this software as well, but I'm not going to do that today. You can figure that out yourself if you want to do that. Um, once you've done it, click save NICNT and wallpaper button and it will appear on your desktop. And that's, that's that. What I'm going to do now is just open up that file where we have the free um, libraries here from Sonora Cinematic. And we're just going to drop these two things into there. You do not change 
what these things are called. They stay as they are. All right. Once you're done with that, let's move on to the next stage. Um, unfortunately, the next stage is a little tricky, um, but not really, I suppose. What you need, basically, what happened with Contact at some point in the past is they decided that we were no longer allowed to add our own library tabs. Um, we used to be able to do it, no problem at all. They decided we can't do it anymore. Um, so the only way to really bypass their decision is to go back to before they implemented this change. So that will mean that you're going to have to go and find a copy of contact 5.56, I believe it is. I've got it here. So we have 5.5, 5 5.6.5. That's the one I have. Um, if, to find this, you're going to go to the native instruments. So what you're going to need to find is the updates for legacy products on the website. And you'll find down here is the contact 5.6 update. Mine is for Windows. Obviously, you need to find one that's right for you. And then the one I'm using is 5.6.5. Um, anything older than that, I think you'll be fine with. But I already have it on my computer. So once you've downloaded that, you're basically just going to run it. Now, of course, we can't update contact from the newest version of contact five down we're, we're going to downgrade it so it will in a moment just sort of check that that's what i want to do a newer version of the software has been found do you really want to downgrade the software we do actually yes so just click everything and hope that nothing breaks It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Trust me. Trust me. I've done this before many times. This microphone's getting closer, isn't it? It's going to bash me in the head. All right. So that's contact now downgraded. So we have a new emblem thing on our desktop. We're just going to open up contact five. Here we are. We're back in contact. We can see now that we're using contact 5.6.5. The difference now is that we now have this big add library button here, which we didn't have before. We're going to click that. Nothing happens. There we go. Right, we're going to click that. Uh, now we've got to find on my PC where that folder is. Instruments, third party instruments. And Sonata, Sonora, sorry, Sonora Cinematic. There we go. We want the whole folder, so just click that. I'm gonna say, do you want to? You sure you want to do that? You sure you want to do that? And there it is. Look, we have that library in contact. Now, you've still got this old version of contact, right? So, how do we sort that out? Well, it's pretty straightforward, actually. What we need to do is open up Native Access. Now, some of these libraries that you create yourself are going to show up in here, but they need to just show up as demos. So don't worry about them. Just ignore them. Um, available updates. Contact 5 is out of date. So let's just update that with native access. Okay, so that's Contact 5 back up to the latest version like we did before. We don't have to use Contact 5. This What we've done here actually affects all versions of Contacts. So let's open contact six. Okay, so here's contact six. And now we can see that the libraries that we've just put in are all in the right place. I don't need any of that anymore. Let's just get rid of that. Uh, so if we open Snow Cinematic, we can see that we have the instruments. Let's open up them from here. How cool is that? That you can just, you don't have to mess around with any of this stuff anymore. You can just Go straight to that and turn your speakers on. And there we go. I also added the Sonoscore stuff that's recently come out, that low key piano. Um, and I've got all my Stingray instruments in here as well. So I can just uh, open them up. 
real quick and easy. Way better. All right, I hope you can uh, understand what I've tried to show you here and you can just apply it. A few tips, that version of contact that you had to download, the old version of it, just keep that on your computer somewhere and you will be good to just bounce back and forth from the old version to the new version to add more of these tabs all the time. So enjoy. All right. See you later.